put in here. Now the pumpkin seeds are great. Uh, traditionally, pine nuts are used. Pine nuts are really expensive these days. They are very expensive. Ooh. I knew a girl who had like a, a parent who loved pumpkin seeds, and that was an expensive habit that they had to yeah. stop, you know? So so you're putting in all this basil, That's and you're also all. putting in the, the pumpkin seeds. How would this be great on a date? Well, um, let's see. The basil, once again, is it helps the immune system. The pumpkin seeds uh, are a great source of omega-3 fats. It's also um, a great source of copper, which okay. uh, is a trace element that we all need. And it's also, um, for the guys, uh, it's very anti-inflammatory and it targets the prostate, which uh, as we get older, men tend to have prostate issues. And it's very important to have all that stuff intact. And yeah. moving on. <laughs> moving along. So we're gonna adding a little olive oil. Okay. Looks like a couple tablespoons of olive there oil. There you go. Yes. Yep. And then we have a little bit of miso. I like to put miso in a oh. lot of recipes. This is a chickpea miso, organic of course. Um, and miso is basically a fermented bean paste. Right. Doesn't sound really, you know, exciting, but it, it adds like a saltiness and then also a um, it's a living food, so there's enzymes and probiotics in there, and it's Great. a very healing and a healthy Live food, food live item. body, right? You don't there want to show go. up on a date with a dead body. That's no good. I'm sorry, I see we have a question from the audience. Hang on, let me get a mic. Uh, hang on just a second. Well, how much lemon did he put in there, lemon juice? Okay, how much lemon juice did I you put, put in that much in there. <laughs> I put, uh, you can go about uh, a tablespoon. A tablespoon. And here's the great thing is that after this show is done, we're going to post these clips on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And in the description segment, you'll have a whole bunch of recipes. Actually, the recipe yes. that you're viewing on YouTube will be well, listed right there. Many of the recipes I'm making tonight are directly from the book. Oh, so the measurements are in the book. Um, and typically when I'm in the kitchen, I, I, I just use the, the recipe as a roadmap. And then uh, when I kind of get in the general vicinity, I Okay, do my thing. of course. So every chef eyeballs it. So. There we go. Um, I, that was a little bit of salt. Just put in some Himalayan sea salt. In okay, there. so now? Um, folks in the audience, just so you know, so the people online can follow along. If you have a question, just let me know so I can get a microphone to you. So okay. that's great. Here, let me help you attach this. I believe everybody's in. I think everybody's in. Fasten yep. our seat belts. And should I, can, I, can I give it a whirl? Engage. This is so much fun. Ooh, what's this? Well, if you got the money, I got the time. <laughs> Actually, now you have the time. Oh, I have the time. Gotcha. Perfect for that prospective gold digger date, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, there we go. And then we do like that. I and just the Kenmore that one food out. processor does such a great job in making this. Yeah, this is a great. It's a large capacity food processor, so I would recommend doing the two cup recipe. And then having those leftovers, because these leftovers are really good. Absolutely. Now, scrape down the sides, get in there. And... How many people are getting hungry watching this? Okay, for you guys watching online, what I'm going to tell you is that one reason you need to visit the Kenmore Live Studio in person is that everybody gets to taste the food after the demo is over. So you guys are going to get to try everything that Chef Adam is making. Everybody wins. Woo! Yeah, a round of applause. Yeah. Okay, so traditional pesto um, has... Uh, Parmesan cheese or some sort of cheese in it. Okay. Now with the raw food detox, we abstain from, uh, basically we're going to abstain from any of the animal products. So no dairy, um, no meats or fish or anything like that. Or just caffeine or alcohol, which is why we didn't drink it for a second. And that's just for the duration of your, your detox um, event. You can do it for a week, you can do it for two weeks. Me, I'm doing it um, until I stop. So oh, it's great. been about so it's uh, five years now. Five years. Amazing. I okay. don't know that I would have the willpower to do that, seriously, but I'm not accustomed to it. So. Well, it'll transform your life. If you're I'm not sure. ready for it, then, you know. Well, we'll wait until I'm ready, but your your skin and your physique is awfully good motivation, I must Thank say. You. So how many people would love to see what this finished product looks like? Maybe? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Pesto change Woo. Woo! Check out how beautiful that looks. Yes, and then I can decorate it with this gorgeous opal basil. Opal basil. Opal basil. I like to. I always call it purple basil, but it's it's opal it's basil. Opal basil. And like I said, you guys will get to try this after the show. Mm -hmm. So let's have a big round of applause for this great appetizer.
So you can't have a date night without dessert, right? And I'm sure even raw foodies like dessert, correct? Oh, yes. I like dessert probably more than... Fans of dessert? Yes. Especially on a date? Yeah. What and, are you going to show us? Well, I'm going to show you uh, a brownie recipe. It's really, really simple. Oh, great. Um, it's on my website. It's in the book. Uh, I do variations of it, but this is the basics. Um, is uh, a nut or seed, um, and then sweetener and cacao. Okay. Um, so here's our nuts and seeds. Uh, we chose pecans and walnuts. So it's a cup of walnuts and a cup of pecans. So we have two cups of nuts in there. You could do all walnuts, all pecans. You could make this with pumpkin seeds. You could make it with almonds. It's, you know, I would so make it with an, pine nuts. If you have like a nut allergy, what would be a good substitute? Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Hemp okay. seed actually is really nice Hemp seed, as yes. well. Just um, okay. <laughs> What's okay. That? So just a seed. Those look like dates. These are dates. Oh, I just bought some medieval yeah. dates, the, the big, the king of dates, the really succulent ones. Yes. Are these the same? These, I think, are halal. Oh, wow. It's just a different variety. Great. Um, these are a little juicier, I guess. Juicy than, dates. Yes. We all like having juicy and dates. And so you have your date on your yeah. on date. I'm a juicy okay. date. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I know. Here, here goes the dates. This is um, a cup of dates. Uh, you could also use palm sugar like okay. we used in the mojita. Uh -huh. um, the dates are going to help bind this as well. And now I'm going to add some powders. Okay. Well, first and foremost, we add cacao. This is raw chocolate powder. That's a brownie without chocolate, right? So there's a little bit of cacao, and there's How a little more cacao. There? And I think we can do like uh, two tablespoons to a quarter cup. Okay. Um, and then there's a item I like to add is called mesquite. This is uh, oh. this is made from seed pods of the mesquite tree. Isn't that what you use on barbecue? Well, that's the wood is used for that. Oh. So mesquite barbecue uses the wood and the smoke has a flavor. These are the mesquite pods ground up into a flour. It's been used by the natives in uh, the Southwest and in Central America as a food source. It has a sweet Kind of creamy, malty Ooh, smell it and flavor. Like yeah, chocolate, like like a drink mix. It really complements um, chocolate well, and it's it's a whole food. It's a great sweetener and it's a good source of fiber. Now maca. What is maca? Maca is a South American root vegetable, similar to it's like in the 